One of the things that I love about South Florida is the abundance of ferns that are found here. Ferns are some of my favorite plants and they are all over the place down here and all different varieties of them. Now ferns are known as seedless vascular plants. They're seedless because instead of making seeds, they make spores and they produce those on little structures that are on the underside of the fronds. Those little structures are called sori. They're called vascular because they contain phloem and xylem, little tubes inside of the plant, just like the big trees, little tubes that help to conduct water and nutrients throughout the plant. Just take a look at some of the varieties that I found. Boston fern, cinnamon fern, bracken fern, golden polypody. Now this one is my favorite, and I bet you're wondering why it's my favorite, because it looks so dead. It's because this one is called the resurrection fern. And this one only looks dead on the outside. You see, what looks dead, uh, it's not really dead. It's only partly, it's only mostly dead. Uh, and there's a big difference between mostly dead and all dead. Uh, mostly dead is slightly alive. You see, we're at the end of the dry season here in South Florida. Two seasons in South Florida, the wet and the dry. That's it. At the end of the dry, it's been weeks since there's been any rain. And this plant, this resurrection fern, actually goes into a state of dormancy. It pulls nutrients out, water out, it curls up to preserve everything that it can until the rains come back. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna give this plant a drink, a good, long, healthy drink, just like that. And then we're gonna come back in a couple of hours, and we'll see what happens. And check out that transformation. Isn't that amazing? Just a little bit of water, and this thing just comes back completely to life. It's fantastic. So the reason that the resurrection fern is my favorite fern is number one, its scientific name is Polypodium polypoidioides, which is just kind of fun to say. But the second reason is, is that I believe it teaches us that a baptism is sometimes the best way to get rid of that dry, dead feeling on the inside. Maybe that's why it's called the resurrection furnace.